In this video, I'm going to be going over some items I think they need to add to Ark Survival Evolved. So before we start, make sure to leave a comment on some ideas you have for some items, because I might end up making another video on your guys' ideas. But anyway, let's get into the video. So of course we have the bow and arrow, you know, the regular wooden one, and then we have the compound bow, which is, you know, just the more modern version of the regular bow. It's the metal one and uses metal arrows, and then there's the newly added tech bow with a bunch of different abilities, like using regular arrows, explosive arrows, trank arrows, and then fire arrows, which you can all switch between. Of course these are super useful, but there's also the crossbow, which is an extremely useful tool at the start. The thing is there's only one type of crossbow, which is the one you're seeing here, which is the metal one. I think it'd be cool if they added more types of crossbows. So as you can see right here, like a modern crossbow or the compound one or whatever it's called. It'd be kind of like the compound bow except for the crossbow version, so you could use it underwater just like you can the regular crossbow as well as the metal arrows on it. And then the tech crossbow, which would be really cool, could have some of these similar abilities to the tech crossbow, except for it could shoot way farther. And I think it would also be cool if it had the ability to use grapple hooks as another one of its abilities. And I don't think this would be overpowered because you'd probably already have a tech suit by the time you'd build this thing. But having grapplers in it would be pretty useful considering they're already super useful travel items and being able to use them just with element or element shards would be pretty cool. Next is some different ammo types for the shotgun or the pump action shotgun. I think it'd be cool if you could use Dragon's Breath rounds, which if you don't know what those are, they're basically just fire versions of regular shotgun shells that would shoot out fire. And then it'd also be cool if they could use slug rounds as well, which are ones with tighter spread, so you know, it'd be pretty accurate. After this would be chainmail armor, so this would be in between flak and chitin, or maybe it'd be above flak, but I think it'd be in between those two. And you know, just be like the regular Chitin armor you'd see here. This would be cool as we haven't gotten a new armor set in years, if you exclude the Exo tech suit, which is basically just a regular tech suit. Next would be another attachment to the weapons, so I guess rifles, maybe even shotguns, I think it'd be more used as rifles. But of course you can melee, but it takes down a bunch of durability. So of course, to disable that, you would use a bayonet, which is basically just a knife on the end of the gun. Using this would make it to where it would do no durability damage to the actual weapon when you melee, because that's what it normally does, and it would also do more damage because you're stabbing it with a knife. So of course you have the spyglass in the game, which is like the only telescope thing you can use, and it's pretty primitive as well as one of the first items that you get. I know there's the electronic uh, binoculars or the tech binoculars, but you technically aren't supposed to be able to get those and they were kind of added by accident in the loot crates. So I think it'd be cool if they did add these tech binoculars, but also if they just had a regular modern pair of binoculars that you could b maybe build in a fabricator. These would allow you maybe to zoom in and give you some other features that you know they would end up adding. Then we have a thing that I think would be really cool, which is submarines. So I tried to demonstrate it here, what it would kind of look like inside using a vacuum thing. You'd basically be able to travel underwater with the submarine and also be able to walk inside of it and then whenever you want you can go up the top or the bottom. This would probably be similar to the one from Atlas which is basically that game that is very similar to Ark and has all the assets in it. Or it could be like Subnautica where they have huge submarines where you can actually build kind of huge stuff inside. Next is a new building material which would be brick. Of course we haven't gotten a new build material since Scorched Earth in 2016. and it's, So it's definitely been a long time. So you probably have to build it with something like clay, which you could get on Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, or any of these other maps that give you sand so you can make clay. After that is the Mammoth Platform Saddle. I think the Mammoth actually would be really cool, the Platform Saddle. I know it did just get a TLC update, but I still think it'd be pretty cool. The Paracer right here, of course, it has a Platform Saddle. It's just a little bit bigger than a like Paracer, and I know that they could fit a Platform Saddle on the back of a Mammoth. That's going to be it for this video. Also remember to leave a comment on some ideas that you think they could add. Also make sure to join the Discord server and follow me on Twitter. But thanks for watching and bye.